Calculating GST is a relatively simple transaction. It can be quite difficult, but first of all, we want to just look at the rate that we've been charged, which is 10%. And just bear in mind that that's just a figure for Australia. In other countries, the GSTs are different amounts. So 15% in New Zealand, 5% in Japan, and 19.6% in France. Uh, however, the first thing we want to realize is that some items actually don't have GST. So if you go to the tax office website, there is actually a list you can see of items that are GST free. For our purposes in Year 12 VCE accounting, for now, we're just going to assume the following things don't have GST. When I receive money from a debtor or pay money to a creditor, that neither of those will have GST. If I earn interest revenue or incur an interest expense, no GST. Capital contributions and drawings won't have GST. Loans and repaying the loans also won't. And lastly, any wages won't have GST. Items with GST are basically made up of three amounts. You've got the GST exclusive amount, the GST, and if you add those together, that gives us what's called the GST inclusive amount. So a very basic example, a business paid $300 plus GST for advertising. How much did it pay? So the exclusive amount is $300, the GST of 10% is 30, so that means the inclusive amount is $330. What we want to do is uh, be able to handle questions where we're just given the GST inclusive amount. So to do that, what we're going to do to figure out the GST is take that inclusive amount and divide it by 11. So for example, a business paid $484 for rent inclusive of GST. So there's the inclusive amount. To find the GST, we're going to divide that by 11. So $484 divided by 11 is $44. So from there, we can work backwards and figure out that the GST exclusive amount must have been $484 less the $44 GST, which is $440. Uh, some basic examples. If I had exclusive 700 plus GST of 70, that's an inclusive amount of 770. If I was given the inclusive amount of $1,210, I'll divide that by 11 to get GST of 110, and then subsequently rearrange the maths to get the exclusive amount of 1100 If I was just given the GST of 50%, that means exclusive is 500 and inclusive is 550 And lastly, if I've got an inclusive amount of GST of 363 divide that by 11 will give us GST of 33 and therefore we can work backwards and find the inclusive amount, or sorry, the exclusive amount of $330.